What's up guys, it's XBM Connect here. Now I'm gonna see an inside look on the new Cody 17.0 Krypton, which is an early access and it's alpha build right now. Um, I did download it for the Mac OS X. Um, so let's go ahead and do it. I already downloaded and everything. So I'm just gonna load it up and um, show you guys what it's all about. Um, I've did like a quick five minutes or two minutes uh, look into it, but I'm gonna go ahead and do it at the same time as with you guys so we could get all familiar with it. So first off, the logo, uh, I actually like the logo, uh, Krypton, it's kinda uh, Superman-ish, as you can see. Now this is the look, this is their default skin now, which is called, um, go to it real quick, whoops interface settings and it's called estuary estuary um, there's some is skin by Phil 65 and Pierce uh, it's the actual default skin which is a little weird because they took off the confluence I'm not sure if you're able to bring that back but I'm pretty sure you will later on now um, the look of it is is actually I like that Mac feel plex wannabe look um, if once you go to the settings, you you will notice some um, name change on the interface, like interface settings, and then TV settings, library settings, and etc. Uh, et now the first thing to note is if you go to the system settings and you'll see add-ons. Obviously, you don't see add-ons right here. The system settings has the add-ons, but not fully. Now this was click or. Uh, if you click this, this will bring up. So it'll give you add-ons will be given access to personal data, device while allowing you blah blah blah. Um, you can choose yes or no. That's up to you. Um, it'll just for for their um, legal purposes, purposes and stuff like that. So um, everything else is is pretty much the same. Down the skin settings, which is kind of cool. It gives you more a little bit more options. Um, and all that like if I wanted to take out certain ones but I do like the whole um, sliding effect a lot easier and pleasant um, what's cool because if you didn't want this section uh, you could just remove it from this menu item and then it's gone and you could always bring it back by skin settings and all that I don't really I'm not really a fan of the weather now I am gonna um, point out that add-ons is straight from uh, used to be on the settings which you have to go to add-ons but they obviously put it on here rather than having video add-ons and all that so it's just based on to one now when you click on add-on browser you are very very familiar with this look because this is where it, if you went to system settings and then you go to add-ons and this is it so that's kind of cool that they put that right in front of your face which is a, a neat uh, idea and same thing for this button as well so now for the sources rather than go to the settings it's actually right here oops a wrong one uh, that just goes to the settings uh, the sources if you wanted to put one it'd be in the that folder right there and then you just type so we're gonna go ahead oh I like the keyboard I actually like the keyboard layout so we're just gonna go ahead and do this real quick see if this actually works See how the look of the add-ons are and stuff. So, obviously that worked. Um, so let's go to the add-on browser, install zip file, and unknown sources is disabled. So obviously you have to um, let this go. Uh, put this. This again. This is their legal purposes to to keep them safe. Uh, let's go to TV add-ons, and then I'm just gonna download. Right then and there. Obviously, that's downloaded. So it looks like it's it's letting you install. Ooh, I like that. I'm really digging the look of it. Uh, I hope they they stick to it. Um, I just wish they'd more, make more of a um, customizable. Obviously, because that's the fad right now. Everyone's trying to make an an uh, build and all that. So. Um, enter add-on browser so obviously that's that let's see if there's no like if I could change anything uh, so we're just gonna go ahead and open it 
and then uh, open it again so that's the wide list that's the other so you got white uh, wide list and icon wall I'm gonna go with the icon wall um, let's go ahead and do this one right here oh I like that Lo uh, loading uh, look so right then and there so um, let's see list poster that's that's the look of the shift info wall right there wall just regular wall uh, fan art and list list poster shift info wall wall and fan art but uh, I'm digging the the list right here and there it has the fan art and um, has the pic movie poster and has a little thing so it's all in your face right uh, let's go ahead and I'm gonna install another add-on just to show let's just show you the actual like um, look of the the player and stuff so let this download for a quick sec sorry if the video is so long I, I'm doing this at the same time as with you guys I'm experiencing it the, the um, second time I guess you could say so add-ons so that's cool uh, add-ons breakdowns and all that instead of it being right here which is cool, kind of neat but if I if I didn't want all these right here I wish it would just straight up with just these which I hope they fix so let's go ahead and do that and let's just look for a, a trailer and then we'll check out the, the way the player looks so the player looks kinda reminds me of the Mac player again um, I'm just gonna mute that real quick while that plays so obviously it's more of a subtle interface look more professional looking and stuff like that um, obviously the loading thing is right there and let's see if we can get any nothing so that's that's basically it um, let, me s let me leave you with this so you can see that I am running the build 17.0 alpha 2 so hopefully it gets a little better uh, it's it's stable enough to where you could actually use it and obviously you just see me wa look at uh, add-ons working and all that stuff so that's that's kinda cool uh, I'm digging it so far I hope uh, the skin can be more customizable for us users and uh, th that's it uh, I'm digging it uh, thanks for watching